Chileans clashed with police and committed acts of arson in Santiago during a march to commemorate the victims of Augusto Pinochet's military dictatorship, 50 years after the coup d'etat that brought him to power. Civilians and police skirmishes outside the presidential palace, La Monida, where then-president Salvador Allende was overthrown on September 11, 1973, and at the cemetery that houses a memorial to the victims of Pinochet's brutal regime. Police used tear gas and water cannon in confrontations that left three officers injured, according to the government. Three people were arrested. President Gabriel Boric, who had briefly joined the procession of some 5,000 people, according to official estimates, condemned the lawlessness after demonstrators broke through security barriers at La Monida and damaged the building's facade. Half a century after the coup, Chile remains divided among those who defend the dictatorship and those who repudiate it. There were also clashes with police at other points during the march, with some marchers hurling Molotov cocktails and setting up burning barricades. Inside the cemetery, some mausoleums were damaged, including the tomb of a right-wing senator killed in 1991. The bulk of the participants, bearing Chilean flags and chanting slogans such as Truth and Justice Now, or Allende Lives, marched peacefully. Fifty years later, Chile is still trying to find its post-coup identity and shape a new political system.